Hey everybody, it's Callum, and welcome back to more Let's Play Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode, we got the Queen of the Zoras. Uh, we got her kid in back into Kakariko Village, or into Kakariko Village in general, and he is now here healing. So we're gonna now follow the Queen of, or oh, the late Queen of the Zora. Looks like she's just heading to the graveyard. Yeah, she's heading to the graveyard. Let's just go. And now I believe we get a certain kind of item here which is going to help us so yeah let's go I was wondering what this was up here okay so when I first got here uh, back in I believe it was like episode 7 or something or whatever I can't remember what episode it was but I saw this and I was like well that has the that has like the Zora Sapphire on it from Ocarina of Time so I was like this doesn't make sense because this is Kakariko Village and now this makes sense this actually does make a lot of sense now oh but now it's just gone now there's a little little hidey hole God, the crawling through holes in this game is so annoying. I hope we don't have to do this a lot more later. Like that'd be that would be very annoying. Let's swim across here. Uh, looks like we need those underwater bombs from Barnes. That's his name, Barnes. I I don't know why it just popped into my mind all of a sudden. Okay. I am deeply grateful to you for aiding my son in this time of need. You were right to bring him here. Kakariko Village is a sacred place for the Zora people. It is where we take our eternal rest. My husband in life, King Zora, also rests here. It is no coincidence my son found his salvation in this peace place. I thought I was reading well. That which I have promised you is within this grave. During his lifetime, my husband created garments specifically for the chosen hero. Garments that house the abilities of the Zora. We got the Zora armor. And now this lets us go into the water. Now at last, I can join the king in slumber. And yet my son, he still knows nothing of my death. If you see him again, please pass on this message. Tell him he must not grieve his mother's passing. Tell him she wanted him to be a brave and live on as the king of our people. And tell him his mother loves him without end. Tell him. But aren't you forgetting something kind of important? <laughs> that last fused shadow? Remember what Pharaoh the Light Spirit said? He said you would need to fuse the fused shadows. Wait, you would need the fused shadows to defeat the Dark Overlord Zant and save the world. So even if you go back now with all the people you saved, the whole tragedy would just repeat itself. So let's go get it. We need to go to the temple on the lake bed of Lake Hylia. <laughs> And now I'm pretty sure we can go under the water. If I sound a bit out of breath, it's because I am. Uh, Alright. We look so doofy. Like, no word of a lie, we look doofy. And we need to go get some bombs from Barnes. This is actually kind of cool, like being able to swim like this. All right. Uh, can we not get up on the ledge? Okay, it was just curved ledges that we can't get up on apparently. All right, let's enter through here. Go see Barnes. Go get the underwater bombs. And yeah. Well, it's good that this doesn't like slow us down or anything, because you know that would be a bit of a pain. 
you know, the fact, like, if this slowed us down at all, or, you know, did something bad to our actual, you know, basically if it made us control worse than what we do now, then it would be very bad. Is this, that's Malomar. Where's the bomb shop? Ah, it's over here. Here we go. Let's go talk to Barnes. Barnes and get some bams from Barnes. There we go. Hey, I've been waiting for you. Take a peek at this. I just finished my water bombs. These little fellas are so advanced, you can even use them in the water. Or, well, well they'll come in handy, guaranteed. You want to buy some? All right, go and ba 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 ba. Yeah. <laughs> uh, head to the counter next to this one and buy our and use our buyback program. You got any bombs you ain't gonna use? Take them off your hands. Wait, 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 wait. Where is the counter? Counter next to this one. Oh, it's literally here. Very good day to you, sir. Welcome to our incredibly fancy bomb buyback counter. Mercy me, what do we have here? It appears that you have some bombs. Allow me a moment to peek at that bag. Bomb 1725. Yeah, sure. All right, now let's buy these water bombs. Five for mm. We're gonna buy fifteen. I haven't got the rupees to buy fifteen bombs. I can only buy ten. Uh, that's crap, man. In fact, we only have ten bombs. Oh well. <clears throat> right, so let's go back to the graveyard. Go back through that hole. And that should take us back to Zora's Domain, I believe. I mean, I mean, that's what I'm assuming. I've not actually not looked this up. I mean, I know I have to go back to Zora's Domain because that's what it says on my, on my, on my little note. But, uh... <clears throat> I'm not too sure if this takes me back to Zora's Domain or not, or whether I have to make my own way back. So. Alright, let's walk up here. Get away, get away, get away. <clears throat> Alright, they're not going to follow us in here, so we're all good. Yeah, okay. So now, let's go down here, because we can use a bomb here. Wait, can we not use a bomb under the water, but we can throw it under the water? That appears to be it. I didn't mean to place it. Oh my god, I am so terrible with these bombs. Okay. Just grab it and throw. Jesus. I suck. I do I really do suck. I suck at this. Oh well, what's down here? Because there's something. Is it just a rupee? It's just a rupee. That can't be all that was. Oh, that's. Oh, and the swim controls are inverted. How fun. Uh, I don't know if there's any way I can change that. Hold up. I want to see if there is a way I can change uh, the swim controls. Ah, 
There we go. Air and water controls. Uh, normal. There we go. That should be good. So, up goes up, down goes down, left goes left, right goes right. That's good. I don't get how anyone can play with inverted controls, like, at all. <clears throat> okay, now we're in Lake Hylia. Sweet. Alright, so, wait, I can't see. <laughs> okay, I think I do better with inverted... Uh, inverted vertical, but not inverted horizontal. Yeah, keep duck. So let's just swim over to the... To the place. Why is the swimming so slow? That's what I want to know. I don't want to go to the bottom yet, I want to go straight over to the place we were in earlier. I say earlier, I mean like the start of last episode. Okay. There we go. Now I want to go in here because there is water here and I know there's chests in the water. But I also think that maybe we can uh, get up there somehow. I don't know. Maybe. First and foremost, though, we're going down here and getting these chests. Because, yeah. Alright, come on. It's not that hard to swim towards a chest. There we go. <laughs> and it's just five rupees. Yay. Five whole rupees. Oh boy. Ten rupees. Wait, can I use the bombs here? I can! I just wasted one, I think. Yeah. Uh, can I blow up this rock? Yes, I can, I believe. Come on. Yep. Rupees. Let's get those because I'm greedy. Right, I want to swim up here. Use the iron boots and just place this down and swim away. Is this just rupees again? Yeah. It's just rupees. Oh, I think I'm. Oh, well, I missed one. It was probably just green, so. Uh, Okie doke. Can we get onto these? Nope, we cannot. Alright, we can't do anything in here, so. I think our best bet is just to leave and go to the temple. Yeah, I think that is our best bet, to be honest. Can we do anything with this? No, I doubt we can, actually. Mm, take a look around, see what else is... No, okay. Let's just go. And now, we can go through here and sink down with the iron boots. I imagine you could use the iron boots as like sort of a speedrunning thing when it comes to the water. Like, well, getting down to the bottom, at least. Because look how fast you fall compared to how fast you swim. You know? Just using the iron boots faster, which is which is very cool, I might add. Though you can't move with the iron boots when you're falling. 
Oh well. Right. Uh, I think I'm gonna save my bombs and not use them here. Is that a bug? Like, is that is that a golden bug? I swear to God, is that a golden bug? Why is it underwater? Oh no, it's a barnacle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God damn it. And how do I open this now? Do I just place a bomb here? No. Oh, it's up there. Duh. I am dumb. Very, very dumb. Oh wait, no, now I can place a bomb on here. Now we'll just go up. And now I'm out of bombs. Are you kidding me? Ah, this is fun. See if Minda can teleport us. Uh, yeah, I have put on the armor. So can Midna not teleport us then? Well, I'm going to have to go get more bombs. Ah, this is going to be fun. I can't even like cut to a new like I have to sit through all this swimming, which is so goddamn slow. Why is it not faster? But not only that, I have to sit through all this swimming and I have to sit through all the transitions into new areas and I then have to you know, go and purchase the bombs and then I have to come back. It's just so annoying, man. But where is the exit? That's what I want to know. Exit. I think the exit's over here. Oh, but can I even go through the exit? Because there was like air pushing me through. You know what? I don't know. I hope so. Because my god, that was... That would be so annoying if I can't. Normally swimming in video games is really relaxing. There is nothing relaxing about- well, actually. Okay, this is kind of relaxing, but... I can't even go that way. I can't even- Are you kidding me? Ah, Christ. Christ almighty, man. I can't even go back that way. Which means I need to make my way back to Hyrule, then back to Kakariko, and then get everything and uh I just don't want to. I just don't want to. I'm gonna have to, but I don't want to. Because everything is just so slow. You know, like, it's not like I can teleport anywhere because Midna is being a douche nugget and won't teleport us. And not only that, but the swimming is just slow. Why is it so slow? I have the ability to swim like a Zora. Surely I should be able to swim faster than this. Like, Zoras are the masters of the sea in this, like, in The Legend of Zelda. 
Why can't they move faster? <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. This is actually, like, really agitating me right now. The fact that now I'm going to have to pay 10 rupees to go up the path to get to Hyrule. Oh. Oh, a human. I'm Plum. Plume. But I don't need to talk to humans. I didn't even pick the grass hub, but might as well. Because I think they're... No? Plum has no need to speak to humans. That's so weird. Hey, you're back. Yeah, okay. Come on, just shoot me up. Okay, we finally did it. Jesus. Admittedly, that didn't take as long as I thought, but still too long, man. Too long. Oh, this place is kind of nice looking. This is relaxing. Even though there's enemies, like, everywhere. And I found out, if you, like, mash the button, you you go faster. Which is cool. And here we are at the Lake Bed Temple. And we'll be doing the Lake Bed Temple in the next episode because I cannot, for the life of me, be asked to do it now. Well, I mean, at least in this episode, I need to get rid of this ep well, not get rid of the episode, but finish this episode off before doing the next one, because obviously that makes, I'm, that made no sense about what I just said. Like, of course I'm gonna have to do that. What? At least choose? Huh. That's cool. And how nice of them to include arrows for us. Alright, uh, we got hearts, cool. I will finish off the episode after. We can get water bombs in here. So... So Barnes didn't make them? Or is Barnes just that good at creating... Is Barnes literally just that good at creating bombs that they just get everywhere. Okay, what... Hold up. Let's use this empty bottle here and scoop up the jelly. Or not. Just, you know, I was gonna say scoop up the jelly, but no, that doesn't work, apparently. Oh, there's some here. Because I want to know what this does. Like, what the heck is the point in this jelly? Purple chew jelly. Drink it, don't know what happens. Let's see what happens and then we'll go on to the next episode. Oh, that heals us. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching and in the next episode we're going to be taking on the Lake Bed Temple and hopefully finishing it in not one episode, I highly doubt that, but we're going to hopefully finish it at some point. So, see you all next time. Goodbye.